Hi. <laughs> We're just going to continue. So anyway, this book is really good. This is a, a compilation from um, naturopathic doctors and uh, colon hygienists. Worms and body odor, sex aids and worms. Um, pet owners frequently have yellow and red worms. And this is what, you know, we've seen. Wor worms can eat the myelin sh uh, sheath on the nerve endings and cause MS. Oh. See, there's all kinds of stuff. So if you add in mercury into our, anything that's a chemical you add in, drops the immune system and then the parasites get in and just thrive. So that's why you'll always find them. I always see parasites coming out with um, chemicals, which are bright yellow, orange, green. Uh, so that's all I've seen. And Hilda Clark too, she talks about that. Hilda Clark, um, Cure for All Disease. She published my books. She was... Um, uh, writing her books in the 90s and everything she was writing I was seeing in my office so I went to her with my books and it was uh, um that's how it worked probably everyone walking has round worms I mean uh and another exclusive interview on parasites colon therapist Idaho you know and these people have seen them just like me there's plenty plenty everyone rich poor the whole population has parasites Dr. William Kelly you know, so it's just denial, um, a warning from FDA on raw fish. And uh, I don't even know when this was put together. And so it's easy uh, to get rid of worms and parasites, too, because I've done a lot of that. 30-foot tapeworms coming out in three-foot pieces. Um, Barley green, hint, hint. Barley green will go eat up a tapeworm over time, but you got to take like two tablespoons a day. And that's even without colonics, it will. But then we had to do colonics so that sucker could come down because he balled up. And he can't, it took uh, two and a half months to come down through the digestive tract. And it was hard on her, but it worked. And we really did her uh, 15 series previous. Um, well, after she took the barley green for a year before she came in, we did a 15 series. It cleared the passage way. So he, he was balling up. We didn't realize he was dead. We still thought it was alive, but he was balling up once we did the colonics and uh, in sections, like three foot sections. And it was hard for her to pass them, but every one of them came through, it was like delivering a baby. We did use coffee enemas, so the caffeine and the enemas could just help her body um, because she was t her body was tired. But you know that's how we got them out, and she was like so happy. And uh, anyway, there was a look in her eye. I'm gonna do this. I might have done it on another video, but there was a look in her eyes from when he was he died in her and he she he he was still in her while we did the colonics but we didn't know if he was dead or alive and the look was like this in her eyes and she was just just a quaint little mild woman but she did live on a farm a tobacco farm and uh anyway after he passed and came out of her like two or three months later it was june to september when I went to see her, her eyes were fine. So you want to tell me, and she was a Christian woman, they got tired of praying for her in church. They didn't know what to do for her. She had to find me somewhere. And no, Jesus Christ told her to come to me. I don't. But the point is this, wasn't it nice to have help? I mean, you can pray and pray and pray, but, you know, what are you doing torturing yourself? And she, and she, 11 years, and nobody could help her. So, anyway, she was at the right place. And she looked great after she had a whole lot of peace. So, anybody wants to say that when you're carrying things like that inside, that that is not a imposition spiritually, is wrong. <laughs> I've seen too much. So the other thing then is colon health. And of course, everybody knows uh, Norman Walker. And that man, 
just as beautiful. In fact, I have another book. Don't go anywhere. I want to show you what he looks like. Um, this man, he, and then <laughs> nobody knows how old he was when he passed away. He was over 100. But just look how, how much he's shining and glowing. I mean, obviously he's an old man, but you don't see young people that have that kind of vitality. Yeah, and see, the people that came out of the 1800s through the early 1900s, they didn't become holistic. They were. That was the best. And then it was being lost through the 50s, 60s. They were coming in. I really believe whatever experimenting they did in Germany and in Europe uh, with injections and drugs and all that was uh, became our new medical. Sorry. And that it, that's when it came in too, right after the war, because these guys right here were getting pushed out, but you know, they still were the purveyors. And that's what we are. We're the purveyors of the truth. That means God is not, does not let anything that he put here get taken out. So that's why you'll see people that, you know, are, uh, I don't even want to say, I don't like to say, they just work for themselves. They work different, but it's not the masses, unfortunately, um, that they're leading. And maybe it will be soon um, when Christ is on the earth. Maybe that's what we'll be doing. Anyway, uh, another book that I thought was really good. Um, I can't read backwards. Amazing Medicines the Drug Companies Don't Want You to Discover by the University Medical Research Publishers. Okay, and this book sometime, The Effective in Preventing Eye Disease and Improving Retina. So it's basically this, the same kind of ideas and approach that these other books have had, only this came in as something new. Um, because of, I'm trying to look at a, a date in here, because that's how it is. Uh, you know, we think we're holistic. Um, that's what's so funny. Um, oh, 1993, we were becoming holistic again. Well, we never lost it. Because 1993, I was doing what I'm doing now. And people were, hadn't come to the place where they are now, where they're really, not healthy and they have conformed to over-the-counter drugs and all kinds of poisons so anyway um this book came in and was like um not reinventing anything but the holistic community people think is new it's not and i wouldn't even consider myself biogenic is biogenic healing process is what was the name since the beginning of time. Biogenic, that means it's it's natural, organic with organic. You don't mix organic with chemical. It doesn't work. I don't care, it doesn't work. Um, that's really what's hurting people. So, um, biogenic. I don't consider holistic. Too many jokes about holistic and, you know, woo-woo and all that. And that's not even true. There's a lot of good people in there uh, doing the best they can do. But if you don't clean the bowel, the holistic um, community doesn't really clean the bowel. They think I'm woo-woo. <laughs> so then that's a shame because, oh, you know, they could use it, <laughs> you know, but they'll do just um, other things like supplements and stuff, but I want to just tell you, you can't get what I see come out of people with supplements and um, you can pray. You can pray and that'll be helpful, but putting the reed up the hinder parts and removing all manner of disease out through the bowel is what God says in the Dead Sea Scrolls. He made us that way. And really what happens is it's the demand supply, it's gravity. It's demand supply. Every one of our machines in, in our homes are plumbing. 
is the modeled after our bodies. Think about that. Where'd they get that idea? Um, hot water heaters, um, oil, the way they do oil changes, what cars need. That's demand supply and you got to clean it. Why did we know to do that there? We got that from somewhere. We got it from our bodies because people practiced it in life. And then we do all that, but then we don't take care of our bodies anymore. What's up with that? And you ought to ask yourself that because um, it's just been hidden from us. So um, try being a researcher for real and the internet is not researching, okay? I just researched um, a product that was a plant and the FDA said it was plant, it cleans your blood, it was chaparral, but it's very dangerous. <laughs> it's poison. I was like, how can it be both? <laughs> well, things can be both. I know it. Peroxide can be like that, but no, 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 no. Not when you take it in a little bit in tincture. So there's too much confusion and the confusion is created to keep everybody confused so they can't figure it out. And the one that's making the most money is the one that's behind it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we don't work for free, but almost, okay? <laughs> but we're thankful and God takes care of us and he is my supply. Thank you. And thanks for joining us. Take care. Please use your thinker and think for yourself. Thank Absolutely. you. Have a nice weekend. <laughs>